Ninja Gaiden 2. Ninja Gaiden 2 is one of those games that just feels timeless to me. I mean, there's never been a point ever that I've put this game in and haven't had a good time. Have I ever beat it? Absolutely not. The game is ridiculously difficult. I remember one of the coolest things about the game is that there were actually cutscenes in both at the start and whenever you beat a level. And for now, that seems a little eh. But back then, it was an absolutely huge deal to see a cutscene. Now, the game, like I said, is brutally difficult, but the control scheme is absolutely perfect. It's real easy to run, jump, cling to walls, jump back and forth, go up and down ladders, kill anything that happens to come your way, including Jason Voorhees. So, I'd say that you have uh, quite a bit of control. The bosses can be absolutely insane, and the only footage I have here is of the first boss, and he's not absolutely insane. Now, I love how you can get the extra ninjas to follow you around. That's a really cool effect, and even though I don't make proper use of them, I always thought it was really cool. The furthest I've ever got in this game, I believe, is level 4, and... I'm not gonna say that's bad. I think that I did pretty well. Now in this playthrough all I did was make it to the mountain where it's all snowing and the winds blowing you one direction or another, but that's another cool part of the game is every single level you go to feels different and that keeps the game from getting stale. You start off in a city, after a while you'll be on this moving train, it's kinda like an old west feeling thing, and then from the train you'll end up in the mountains. All in all, an absolute perfect game. Really, no complaints at all here. Ninja Gaiden 2. I remember there was a big thing when I was growing up where people would call him Gaiden or Gaidan, and people were fighting over what this guy's name was. Well, the guy's name is Ryu Hayabusa. But only if you were really playing the game and paying attention did you notice that, and a lot of kids especially that I was hanging out with anyway, they were just hitting start. Just hitting start. They didn't even want to see those cutscenes. Now with me, when I seen the cutscenes come up, I was like, whoa, this is like a movie on my Nintendo. But I guess I'm glad that now I found a lot of other people that kind of have my memories of this awesome game and I can kind of share them out here and whatnot because I grew up in an area where basically everybody surrounding me was wrestling and car racing and things like that so I didn't have a lot of outlet for this type of stuff. I only had a couple of friends that were really into games like I was but when I went to get my Nintendo because I was rebuilding my collection I went to get it from my dad's and this game was with it. So this is probably one of the only games I still have from my old collection. This and one other game was with the Nintendo when I picked it up and that is absolutely awesome because the two games that I had left over were Ninja Gaiden 2 and Mega Man 2. So that was a good way to start back into my retro gaming again. So really happy with this game and I'm just really happy to still have it. I have spoken. Take what you will from it.